Hi, this is FG News. I'm Justin. I'm Yuki, and I'm Bill. Today, we would like to discuss about the Australian bushfires happened this year, known as the Black Summer. The Australian bushfire season began with several uncontrolled fires in June 2019. Fires heavily impacted various regions of the states of New South Wales. Because the fires in eastern and northeastern Victoria was out of control in late December, multiple states of emergency were declared across New South Wales, Victoria, and the Australian Capital Territory. Reinforcements from all over Australia were called in to assist fighting the fires in New South Wales. Finally, the major fires which peaked during December to January have been put out. Both human activities and natural causes can start bushfires. In natural cases, lightning usually is the main source. There is a fire season every year during the Australian summer. With hot, dry weather, lightning was responsible for starting a number of fires in southeast Australia in late December. According to several reports, a large scale of land has burned in the Australian bushfire. There were not only over 5,900 buildings have been destroyed, but also around 30 people got killed. The bushfire has also severely damaged lots of farms, crops, and critical infrastructure, which could seriously affect the price and availability of fresh produce. Because of the smoke produced from the fires. Many reports pointed out that Canberra, the capital of Australia, measured the worst air quality index of any major city around the world in January 2020. Wildfires produced smoke and fine particle air pollution, which would threaten human health directly, even during short exposures. The smoke produced by wildfire can travel long distance. The heat from fires often pushes it high in the sky into the stratosphere. According to the World Meteorological Organization, the smoke from Australian bushfires has flown across the Pacific Ocean and might have reached the Antarctic. Before the Black Summer, which is the bushfire season, people thought that the forests in Australia can reabsorb all the carbon released in bushfires across the country, which is turned net zero emissions. However, Human activities and nature causes make bushfires burn more intensely in climate change. Massive emissions of greenhouse gas have been emitted into the atmospheres during the bushfires in 2019 to 2020, which will result in some greenhouse gas problems and global warming issues. This can be a quite serious climate system destruction. With numbers of trees, our drinking water catchments are typically located in forested areas. However, because of the bushfires, drinking water catchments are vulnerable to pollution. Besides, bushfire ash also contains lots of nutrients, which can stimulate the growth of blue-green algae in the water. Blue-green algae will produce some materials that may also contribute to a range of water quality problems. As college students, here's what we can do to help: one, use reusable beverage containers and reusable tableware; two, shop for products that will not damage the natural environment; three. Disseminate information about climate change to let more people know. Four. If you would like to make some donations, there are a few places for you to donate. Australian Red Cross, Wires, and Australian Wildlife Rescue Nonprofit, The Salvation Army Australia, Port Macquarie Korea Hospital. Caribbean Wildlife Hospital.